Question 5. Considering the recent intervention against American human rights NGOs in Egypt and general anti-Western sentiment among Arab countries, how does NATO plan to engage with the new actor in the Middle East, the Middle Eastern people? Good question. Uh, in fact, I'd say one of the most active areas of cooperation for the alliance for the last more than, more than 10 years has been our public diplomacy outreach. We've been very, very active uh, in the region through seminars and speeches and articles and TV interviews and conferences and meetings at universities to try to explain what NATO is uh, and what we're doing in, in the post-Cold War world. Uh, and Libya showed, to me anyway, that a lot of that work has succeeded. And I, I have to stress, we have done this in partnership with the governments. They have helped us to explain what NATO is. But the proof of the pudding is in the tasting. Libya showed uh, that actually Arab people in these parts of the world do understand what NATO is. There was not a single demonstration against the NATO intervention in Libya. Not one, at least that I was aware of. Uh, because people understood that this was an alliance, yes, of democracies, that was trying to pr protect human rights. Uh, and that's what they wanted. So actually, I think we're on a good foundation to continue to engage with the people of the Middle East.